Thank you for tuning in to Mystic Explorer. We are a small channel, making the best videos we can. We read every comment and respond to all feedback. Every subscriber we get brings us one step closer to our dream of exploring ancient wonders, then making incredible videos to bring to you. Please be some of the first to help us grow. We hope you enjoy the video and never stop exploring. The dawn of a mysterious era begins to unfold as we journey back to a time when the foundations of a remarkable civilization were being laid. Amidst the undulating golden sands and the life-giving waters of the Nile, the story of ancient Egypt begins to take form. It's a tale woven with threads of ingenuity, mystique, and a deep reverence for the divine. In the early dynastic period, the land of the pharaohs was more than a burgeoning empire. It was a cradle of ideas, a melting pot of cultures, and a proud display of to human resilience and innovation. It was here that the roots of one of the world's oldest civilizations sank deep into the fertile Nile Valley, paving the way for an era of unparalleled ingenuity and cultural richness. The ancient Egyptians didn't just adapt to their environment, they mastered it. They harnessed the Nile's ebb and flow, creating an agrarian society that would not only survive but flourish amidst the desert's harsh embrace. They built cities, developed trade, and crafted a language that would echo through the corridors of time. They etched their thoughts, their dreams, and their divine reverence in stone. The birth of hieroglyphs, a complex system of pictorial writing, marked a significant milestone in their cultural evolution. These intricate symbols were more than mere communication tools. They were a testament to their intellectual prowess and a window into their vibrant world. Parallel to this, a profound religious belief system was taking shape, a cosmology that would guide their society, their ethics, and their understanding of life and death. The ancient Egyptians perceived an intricate relationship between the natural and spiritual worlds, a belief that deeply influenced their architecture, their rituals, and their afterlife preparations. And so, a stage was set for an architectural marvel that would baffle humanity for millennia to come, the Great Pyramids. The dawn of this mysterious era was just the beginning of a journey that continues to captivate, inspire, and mystify us even today. Imagine a bustling construction site, but instead of cranes and bulldozers, maybe there are thousands of workers hauling massive stone blocks. That's right, we're stepping back in time to the era of the ancient Egyptians and their awe-inspiring construction feats. The Great Pyramids of Giza, these colossal structures, have left us scratching our heads for centuries. How did a civilization thousands of years ago manage to erect such monumental edifices without the aid of modern technology? Theories abound, each more fascinating than the last. Some scholars propose the use of massive ramps, either straight or spiraling around the pyramid, to elevate the stone blocks to their required height. Others posit that the Egyptians mastered the art of moving heavy objects on sleds, with water-drenched sand reducing friction. One can't help but chuckle at those studies once you understand the size and sheer precision of these constructions. The Great Pyramid of Khufu, for instance, stands at a staggering 481 feet, composed of over two million stone blocks, each weighing an average of two and a half tons. Yet despite these staggering figures, the pyramid is aligned true north with an accuracy of up to 3 60ths of a degree. The scale of the work is equally astounding. Picture this, a single pyramid, built over two decades, would have required the placement of one stone block every two and a half minutes, working day and night. The construction of the pyramids was not merely a demonstration of brute force, but a testimony to the advanced mathematical and architectural knowledge of the ancient Egyptians. They employed a complex system of cubits, a form of ancient measurement, and used plumb bobs for vertical alignment a technique still used by modern builders today. The magnificent pyramids stood completed. Their grandeur speaks of the capabilities of a civilization far ahead of its time. And while the mystery of their construction continues to captivate us, it's the sheer audacity of the ancient Egyptians to dream such monumental dreams that truly leaves us in awe. From the realm of wild theories emerges an idea that reimagines the purpose of the pyramids. British author Christopher Dunn, in his book, The Giza Power Plant, proposed that the Great Pyramid of Giza was not a tomb, but a power plant. Yes, you heard it right, 
a power plant. Dunn posits that the pyramid harnessed the Earth's vibrational energies and converted them into electricity. But how would this ancient civilization achieve such a technical feat? Dunn suggests that the pyramid's chambers were designed to resonate at a frequency that would separate water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. This hydrogen was then used to generate electricity. He points to the so-called air shafts in the king's chamber, which he believes were conduits for the hydrogen gas. The precision and orientation of the pyramid, according to Dunn, were necessary to maximize the collection of Earth's vibrations. This theory, while fascinating, is met with skepticism by many scholars who argue that there is no archaeological evidence to support such advanced technology in ancient Egypt. However, it's a testament to the enduring mystery of the pyramids that even in the realm of science fiction, they continue to inspire and captivate our imaginations. Could the pyramids have been the powerhouses of the ancient world? The debate rages on, adding another layer to the enigma that is the Great Pyramids of Giza. From the plausible to the downright bizarre, theories about the pyramids' construction abound. Let's dive into some of the most outlandish ones. First up, the theory of alien intervention. Yes, you heard it right. Some believe that extraterrestrial beings with advanced technology help build the pyramids. They argue that the precision and scale of the pyramids are beyond the capabilities of humans at the time, thus pointing to an otherworldly hand. Next, we have the theory of lost ancient technology. This theory posits that the Egyptians possessed a now lost technology that allowed them to move and carve massive stone blocks. Proponents of this theory point to the intricate carvings and the precise alignment of the pyramids as evidence of this advanced technology. Lastly, we have the theory of acoustic levitation. This theory suggests that the ancient Egyptians used sound waves to lift and move the heavy stones. Proponents of this idea believe that the Egyptians mastered the art of harnessing the power of sound to manipulate physical objects. While these theories may seem far-fetched, they add to the intrigue and mystery surrounding the pyramids. Who knows, perhaps the truth is even stranger than fiction. As the sun sets, the pyramids cast long shadows, perfectly aligned with the compass's cardinal points. This is no mere coincidence, but a grand display of intricate planning and precision that went into their construction. The Great Pyramid of Khufu, for instance, is aligned with an accuracy of up to 1 15th of a degree to the true north. This feat is so precise that it remains a challenge for modern engineers and architects to replicate even with today's technology. Now, why would the ancient Egyptians go to such lengths? The most commonly held belief is that these were tombs built to house the pharaohs in their afterlife. But this alignment suggests a greater purpose, one that goes beyond the realm of the mortal. Several theories have been proposed to explain this mystery. Some scholars suggest that the pyramids were designed to serve as stellar observatories or sundials. They point to the alignment of the Great Pyramid's air shafts with certain stars, such as those in the Orion and Draco constellations, as evidence of the ancient Egyptians' advanced knowledge of astronomy. Others propose that the pyramids were used to track the solstices and equinoxes, marking the passage of time and the changing seasons. They argue that this knowledge would have been essential for a civilization heavily dependent on agriculture, helping them predict the annual flooding of the Nile and plan their planting and harvesting accordingly. Then there are those who believe the pyramids were built as a form of spiritual or symbolic architecture, aligning with the cardinal points to reflect the Egyptians' religious beliefs about the cosmos. They see the pyramids as a mirror of the heavens, a bridge between the earthly realm and the divine. Regardless of the theory, what is clear is that these pyramids were not just grand tombs, but intricate structures imbued with profound significance, a constant display of ancient Egyptians' remarkable understanding of the world around them and their desire to connect with the cosmos. These structures, silent in their majesty, seem to hold a deeper purpose waiting to be discovered. In the midst of the awe-inspiring pyramids and the mysterious Sphinx, the smaller artifacts that demonstrate the exceptional skill of the ancient Egyptians often go unnoticed. The meticulousness their stone vases, for example, is a revelation that questions our grasp of ancient technology. The recent undertaking, the Vase Scan Project, showcases the wondrous craftsmanship and mathematical design principles behind these vases. 
There are three main points to know about this ongoing discovery. One, they're incredibly symmetrical. Two, they are created with extremely hard stone. Three, they are 100% genuine. In a high precision engineering lab, one that tests accuracy for jet engine and aerospace, the project's experts, including renowned figures Chris Dunn, Alex Dunn, and Nick Sierra, carried out hands-on metrology inspections, uncovering a level of detail previously hidden. The results astounded even the skeptics, confirming the ancient Egyptians' ability to create objects with precision that still challenges modern technology on the creation, that is, if you don't count the lug handles. It is unknown if even with modern tech we could recreate that portion. There is no question on the authenticity of these vases, their provenance, in some cases dating back to the 1800s, and at the very least 1980s. One of the most intriguing discoveries is the so-called OG, or original granite vase. It beholds seamless lug handles that display no noticeable deviation from each other, with measurements reflecting precision to the single digit thousandths of an inch, far less than a human hair's worth of difference. Equally striking is the spinner vase, crafted with such balance that it can revolve on its axis for an extended period the vase showcases an exquisite bottom curvature composed of three circles of the exact same radius. The vases, reflecting extraordinary precision and profound understanding of mathematical principles, were designed using mathematical constants like pi and the golden ratio. The radial traversal pattern found in the original granite vase has also been identified in the spinner vase, further indicating their intentional design. Among the vast collection of meticulously crafted stone vases, one stands out with its extraordinary thinness. This vase, a mere millimeters in thickness, is a testament to the ancient Egyptians' exceptional craftsmanship and precision. Its delicate form, crafted from hard stone, raises questions about the techniques employed by its creators. Theories abound, but the exact method remains a mystery. Some speculate that the vase was shaped using a slow and painstaking process of grinding and polishing, employing abrasives harder than the stone itself. We are not sure why people would propose this. We believe it is as low IQ as dragging pyramid blocks across a sandy desert. This thin vase, a marvel of ancient craftsmanship, adds another layer to the enigma of the ancient Egyptians. The scientists and engineers dive deeper into the metrology inspection process. Using advanced tools like structured light scanning and CT X-ray machines measuring the vases with remarkable accuracy and explaining the complex techniques required to achieve such precision. As the vase scan project continues to unearth more captivating discoveries, we are reminded of the incredible sophistication of the ancient Egyptians. Its existence challenges our understanding of their technological capabilities and artistic finesse. It serves as a tangible reminder of a civilization that thousands of years ago achieved a level of sophistication and precision that still leaves us in awe today. We must always remember to stay humble, my friends. We have not yet discovered all that this world has to offer. Whether tech or dating, there is always more to unearth. If you're interested in learning more about the VARS Scan Project, you must visit Uncharted X on YouTube. Ben gives our channel something to aspire to as creators. His knowledge vastly outpaces ours. Beneath the grandeur of the imposing edifices, a labyrinth of passages and chambers lay hidden, each a telltale heartbeat of their long forgotten secrets. In the heart of the Great Pyramid, a network of corridors and rooms is suspected, weaving a complex tapestry much like the veins and arteries of a colossal stone behemoth. In these shadowy recesses, the faint pulse of an age-old civilization still reverberates, whispering tales of a bygone era. Recent years have seen an acceleration in the discovery of secret chambers within this architectural titan, thanks to significant strides in modern scanning technology. These cutting-edge tools, such as muon tomography and thermal imaging, have allowed us to penetrate the pyramid's stony facade and delve deeper into its cryptic core. One of the most intriguing aspects, however, is not the pyramid itself, but its companion, the Sphinx. A network of tunnels and passages have been documented beneath the iconic Sphinx, meticulously studied by Egyptologists. These hidden conduits were integrated into the original construction and later restoration efforts, their purpose still subject to speculation. 
the enigmatic theory of a hall of records beneath the Sphinx, a hidden chamber believed to house ancient wisdom or artifacts, has been a source of fascination. Despite numerous expeditions and investigations, this elusive hall of records remains undiscovered, its existence verging on mythical. The Sphinx holds further secrets. Unusual water erosion patterns observed on its body have led researchers like Robert Schock to propose that these marks indicate the structures are much older than previously thought. In 1991, Schock redated the monument to somewhere between 5,000 to 10,000 BC based on water erosion marks he identified on the Sphinx enclosure walls and also based on findings from seismic studies around the base of the Sphinx and elsewhere on the plateau, thereby challenging the conventional dating methods and suggesting that the Sphinx could predate our current understanding. This water erosion theory has ignited debate among Egyptologists and geologists, promising to rewrite the history of the Sphinx and offer new insights into the ancient civilizations that crafted these awe-inspiring structures. In 2017, an international team of scientists made a groundbreaking announcement, the discovery of a large void within the Great Pyramid. This space, affectionately named the Big Void, is believed to be at least 30 meters long and is situated above the pyramid's grand gallery. Its purpose and contents, like much about the pyramid, remain shrouded in mystery. The Great Pyramid and its companion Sphinx are not mere architectural marvels. They hold the potential to rewrite our understanding of the civilization that birthed them, providing clues to their construction, purpose, and the beliefs of the people who built them. As we continue to unravel their secrets, we are reminded of the enduring allure of these ancient structures. Every stone, every passage, every hidden chamber has a story to tell, a secret to share. The pyramids and the Sphinx, it appears, are not just masterpieces of architecture, but also custodians of untold secrets. Every wall, every artifact bore the mark of an ancient script, a window into the lives of a civilization long past. The ancient Egyptians communicated through a visual language known as hieroglyphs, a system of writing that used symbols to represent both sounds and ideas. These hieroglyphs etched into the walls of the pyramids and on countless artifacts found within and surrounding these structures provide a tantalizing glimpse into the culture, religion, and daily life of this ancient civilization. Hieroglyphs often depicted gods, people, animals, and natural elements. They were more than just a means of communication, they were a form of art, a way of storytelling that captured the essence of life along the Nile thousands of years ago. The artifacts unearthed from the pyramids and their surroundings tell a similar story. From ornate jewelry to finely crafted pottery, from intricate statues to the tools used in everyday life, each artifact is a physical manifestation of the rich and complex culture that thrived in ancient Egypt. But perhaps the most intriguing artifacts are those associated with the religious beliefs and practices of the time. Sacred amulets, statuettes of gods and goddesses, funerary texts, all offer insights into the spiritual life of the ancient Egyptians, their beliefs about the afterlife, their rituals, and their gods. However, deciphering these hieroglyphs and artifacts is no easy task. While great strides have been made, thanks to the discovery of the Rosetta Stone and the tireless work of scholars, much remains to be understood. The meanings of many symbols are still debated and the true purpose of certain artifacts is yet to be determined. Moreover, the hieroglyphs and artifacts raise as many questions as they answer. They hint at a society steeped in religious rituals, a people with a deep connection to the natural world, yet they also leave us wondering about the daily lives of the people, the social hierarchy, the nuances of their beliefs. Each hieroglyph, each artifact offered a piece of the puzzle, but the bigger picture remained elusive. Guarding the pyramids, the Sphinx sat in silent vigil, its origins and purpose as mysterious as the structures it protected. This colossal monument, known as the Great Sphinx of Giza, has long been a source of fascination, mystery, and debate. Carved from a single limestone ridge, the Sphinx is an imposing figure with the body of a lion and the head of a human. It stands as an eternal sentinel, casting its gaze across the Giza Plateau, a silent witness to the passage of time and the unfolding of history. Yet despite its grandeur, the Sphinx is shrouded in curiosity. Its age, creator, and purpose have been subjects of heated debates among scholars and researchers. Some believe that the Sphinx was built by the Pharaoh Khafre, who also commissioned the second largest pyramid at Giza. 
Others, however, argue that the Sphinx predates Khafra by several centuries, pointing to erosion patterns and architectural style as evidence. The truth, it seems, is as elusive as the Sphinx's mysterious smile. And then there's the question of purpose. Why was the Sphinx built? Was it a divine guardian protecting the sacred necropolis? Or was it a monument to the power and wisdom of the pharaohs, a symbol of their dominion over the earthly and the divine? Some even propose that the Sphinx has astronomical significance, its alignment with the rising sun on the spring equinox suggesting a celestial connection. Yet, without a single inscription or document from the time of its creation, the Sphinx remains mute on its true purpose. Such debates only fuel the fascination with this ancient marvel. Every theory, every piece of evidence, every suggestive line of the Sphinx's face only deepens the mystery, adding layers to the mystery that it embodies. The Sphinx, like the pyramids, held onto its secrets, adding to the curiosity that is ancient Egypt. As we continue to explore and study, we are reminded that the Sphinx, much like the civilization that created it, continues to point to the enduring allure of the unknown, a monument to human curiosity and the ceaseless quest for understanding. The sun sets on the horizon, casting the pyramids and sphinx in a golden hue, their mysteries still intact. As we've journeyed through the grandeur of construction techniques, pondered over the unsettling alignment, explored the potential of hidden chambers and secret passageways, decoded the hieroglyphs and artifacts, pondered the mysterious sphinx, and delved into the advanced knowledge and cultural significance, we've only scratched the surface of this ancient civilization's complexity. The Great Pyramids and the Sphinx, these architectural masterpieces of ancient Egypt, continue to baffle and fascinate us with their precision, scale, and the advanced knowledge they exhibit. The purpose of the hidden chambers, the true age of the Sphinx, and the full extent of the astronomical and mathematical knowledge of the ancient Egyptians are questions that remain unanswered, adding to the allure and mystery of these structures. And so, the mystery of the pyramids continues, a testament to a civilization that, despite its ancient roots, continues to fascinate and baffle us to this day. From the crackling fire of a desert night camp, we delve deeper into the advanced knowledge and cultural significance of these structures. The ancient Egyptians were not just builders, but they were astronomers, mathematicians, and philosophers. Their knowledge far surpassing what we might expect from a civilization so ancient. What secrets did they hold? How did they perceive the world, the universe, and their place within it? With every stone in the pyramid, every glyph on a wall, we get a glimpse into their minds, their beliefs, and their incredibly advanced understanding of the world around them. But there's a twist in the tale. Many researchers and historians believe that the Egyptians may have had help. From whom or what remains a mystery? Was it extraterrestrial intervention, as some theories suggest, or was it a lost civilization far more advanced than we can imagine? These theories, while speculative, add another layer to the mystery of the pyramids. As the night deepens and the stars twinkle above our heads, we are left to wonder, ponder, and marvel at the incredible quandary that is the legacy of the pharaohs. As we gaze up at the twinkling stars, just as the ancient Egyptians did thousands of years ago, we are reminded of our place in the universe. We are but tiny specks in the grand tapestry of existence. Yet our curiosity, our thirst for knowledge, and our desire to understand makes us so much more. As we draw to the close of our journey through the mysterious world of the Great Pyramids, we would like to extend our deepest gratitude for your company. Your curiosity fuels our exploration and your thirst for knowledge propels us deeper into the mysteries of our world. If this journey has sparked a flame within you, if it has ignited a curiosity that thirsts for more, we invite you to join us on our next expedition. Give this video a thumbs up to show your support. Share your thoughts, theories, and questions in the comments section below. We are fascinated to hear your unique perspectives on these ancient mysteries. Don't forget to subscribe to Mystic Explorer and be among first to embark on our next journey into the unknown. By doing so, you become part of an ever-growing community of explorers, thinkers, and dreamers. Until our next journey, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep marveling at the wonders of our world. Remember, the world is full of mysteries waiting to be discovered, and you are an explorer destined to uncover them.